Hello. Today we are harvesting iridium from the spark plugs. What we need to do first is to bend this top piece like this. Now this central piece in here, the tip is iridium. We need to basically just bend and pry and get that out can't find any pliers so you can see the iridium tip at the top this ceramic cover snapped off now we have this which can be cut off. Here we have one out of four and I'm going to use a bit more power just to do the rest of them after I've charged the battery. Starting with this clamp we're going to dissolve the metals that we don't want which are probably copper and nickel using electrolysis because I cannot use nitric acid. Here we have a beaker with some water in it. We are going to add some sulfuric acid to make an electrolyte. Now, our metal tips which we're going to dissolve are on the positive terminal, which is the anode. There it's going to oxidize and dissolve into the solution. While the cathode is a piece of copper. and our nickel will be dissolving into solution. I think you can see that happening. And soon our iridium will fall to the bottom of the beaker. Notice a 
color change. It's turning slightly blue, bluey green. Part way through and you can see the metal has dissolved, exposing more of the iridium. Hydrogen is being generated as well as some sharp on the throat aerosols. So I have opened the front door just to mitigate this a bit. It might be that I use too much sulfuric acid. This clamp has lost its teeth. It's dissolved. It's turned more colored. It's kind of a teal color. Can't decide if it's blue or green. Ooh. That looks like all the metal is dissolved on one side. Yep. Add some more of our electrolyte. The amp should go up. Yes. Here I am dissolving the other parts and it appears that the high temperature corrosion resistant metal is the only thing that's dissolving in hydrochloric acid. That's very strange. to be continued.